Bro, man, when your birthday is? September 12th. Dang, man, my shit, uh, September 2nd, man. Are you still a Virgo, man? Yeah, man, Virgo gang. Hey, what's going on? It's Trey. We're here for another questionnaire live straight from my living room. And today we have one of the most interesting rappers alive right now, 645 AR. What's going on, man? I'm good, man. Appreciate you for having me. Very, very excited to have you, man. You've been one of my favorite people. Yeah, then let's do it. Which of these cartoon characters would you love to do a duet with? SpongeBob, Scrappy Doo, or Donald Duck? SpongeBob. He's just going to be talking about drip, you know, because he really dripped out. He soak up the drip. So I'm trying to, you know, trying to soak up some of that knowledge and some of that drip. Bone in wings, boneless wings, or chicken nuggets? Bone in. Traditional. Real chicken, you know. I agree, that's the right answer. All right, so let's go wings flavors then. Lemon pepper, barbecue, or buffalo? Lemon pepper. What does lemon pepper mean to you, considering you in like the world capital of lemon pepper seasoning? Shit, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper really don't mean shit to me, man. Just like, shit, lemon, lemon pepper. Like, like shit, like the wall. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Best flavor of Takis? The guac? The Fuego or the Explosion ones? Fuego. I never tried the guac and the uh, Explosion one. I don't really like spicy food, man. Cause, like my nose start got them like running and shit, man. Like my mouth be hot, my lip be burning and shit, bro. Like you would never go on that show, hot ones or whatever. Yeah, nah, yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> Not I. What do you think about when like you see people doing that stuff? Shout out to them, man. They real brave. You feel me? You need people like that. You need people testing the limits constantly. Yeah. How do you apply that to your music? I've been testing the limits. When I came into this music shit, I came from like a consumer perspective. I was like, I'm gonna make music that I will listen to pushing the limits pretty much and not giving a fuck. Your lyric, you want respect, go get you a stat. Three dicks on me, your hoe know where one at. Yeah. Let's say there's another body part you can have an extra of. Extra arm, extra leg, or extra eye? Extra eye. It's going in the back of my head. I mean, you big as hell. I don't know if you need to worry about motherfuckers sneaking up on you. Yeah, no, I really don't, man. Like, when people see my video, bro, they must think I'm like five, five or some shit. They must think I'm like a small nigga or something, bro. Cause the shit people be saying, bro, be crazy, bro. Now, I know ain't no shit they gonna say to me as soon as they see me, bro. And they say, oh, the nigga say five, 240. Oh, they ain't gonna say shit. <laughs> How do you kind of like block out that negativity? I just laugh, for real, for real. I already know how the internet be. Like people just be talking on the internet, trying to like be relevant. Mm -hmm. I don't pay that shit too much mind, man. Like beef, cause everybody's gonna hate on what I'm doing. So I can't react to everybody who's hating on me. Cause I'm gonna burn myself out. Put your energy towards the positive stuff. Cause that's the stuff doing well for you in life and shit. Exactly. When people hate on me, it actually helps me. So I appreciate all my haters. So zombie apocalypse happening, right? Do you try to find a team of other people to join? Do you just like thug it out and figure shit out on your own? Or are you just gonna give up? Teamwork made the dream work. So let's say it's a group of like five, six people. Like what's your role in it? Like you the shooter, you like the cook, you the scavenger. I'm shooting shit, man. God damn shooting the fuck out of the zombie. Does it make a difference if it's like one of those Romero zombies that are like all slow movie and stuff. Or? Man, it do not matter, bro. If I see a zombie, bro, I'm shooting at it. You got any favorite zombie movie? Uh, no, nah, I don't. If you had to have a Bible and another weapon, would it be a Bible and a crossbow? A Bible and a grenade launcher? Man, hold on, man. <laughs> a Bible and a cake. <laughs> no cap. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs of yours. Like. What's like the story behind it? How did all that come together? So like the first song I did that started getting a little bit of buzz, it was like my high pitched voice and then my regular voice, I was going back and forth. And then made Bobble in the Cave. It was like the complete sound, you feel me? So can't be half assing again, can't be one foot in, one foot out. I was like, yep, we just gonna do this. You feel me? We did that. Bobble in the Cave is kind of like, it was the beginning of the rest of your life in a way. Yep, it was like the beginning, it was like, the beginning, like the very beginning. That's it for this questionnaire life. I'm Trey and we'll see you hopefully in the wild sometime. Just stay safe, wash your hands and, you know, just be smart about how you congregating with others. All right, man, take care.
Man, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't even do it, man. My man just said you, I, you have to consult him. You want me to do the squeaky voice, man? Yeah, man, we ain't taking the money maker for free. Come on now. <laughs>